how's it going folks? Stacker Noob UK back once again with another silver and gold stacking video. Hope you're all doing really, really well. Now, it is an absolutely sweltering day in London today. It's 37 degrees, so if you hear some background noise of traffic, I've got my windows open. I have no choice. You'll have to just deal with that, I'm afraid. So anyway, um, this is a... This is a video that I'm really, really been looking forward to make over the last couple of weeks since I did a bit of wheeling and dealing. Obviously, the price of silver and gold has been absolutely rocketing recently. Excellent vindication for us silver and gold stackers that we look like we might be right in the long term about the, the long term value of these things and the effect of monetary inflation and things like that. But for me, I always overstacked silver than gold because silver was obviously the most undervalued of the two metals in my eyes. And I've always looked for a ratio of 50 to one silver to gold to start changing my silver into gold. Now obviously we haven't quite reached that point yet. We're on about 70, 75 at the time we're recording. But if we take into account premium items, then I can get to that ratio very, very easily. What you're seeing in front of you now is the Marvel silver coins from the Tuvalu Mint. Um, there's eight of them there. The most expensive one right now is Spider-Man. He can fetch nearly a hundred pounds just for that one ounce coin. All in all, I spent less than two hundred pounds on these eight coins, and I've managed to do a little deal and swap eight of these coins plus an extra twenty pounds for a quarter ounce of gold. That is a ratio of thirty-six to one, and I'm very, very pleased with it. I've effectively doubled my money using these coins. Um, they're very popular coins and I'm not, you know, I'm kind of sad to see them go because I really, really enjoyed them. But at the end of the day, my long-term strategy has been to swap silver for gold when the ratio drops below 50 to 1. And because these are premium coins and they're in high demand, I was able to do that. So, what is it that I picked up? Well, some of you may have seen my, uh, my gold collection before. Um, it's not massive, but, you know, there's a, a few pieces here and there. So I have five quarter ounce gold coins. So we have the Britannia, the, the Lion and the Griffin Queen's Beasts. We have the Philharmonic and it's a bit sideways but that's the uh, Perth Mint Lunar Dog quarter ounce. And then we have a little tenth ounce Britannia there as well. Lovely jubbly. We also have of course the, uh, the, quarter, uh, the one gram Panda and then finally we have our two and a half gram Pamp Bar lovely stuff. But um, yeah, like I say, I've, I've been looking for more gold and I took the opportunity to swap these coins for something I've been looking for for a while. And here it is. We have a quarter ounce American Gold Eagle and it is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful indeed. I'm not actually a big fan of the um, of this side of the coin, the Eagle side. I think the design's a little bit, it's a little bit dated. Having said that, there's a reason that this would be dated. This coin, if you can see that, MCM LXXXVI 1986. So this coin is over 33 years old and it's looking lovely. So, it's in good nick, but it's not ever going to be a graded coin or anything like that. So I'm going to take it out and have a look with my bare hands. And here we go. Absolutely beautiful stuff. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased that I was able to play the ratio game in the way that I have. Like I say, 36 to 1 is the ratio that I got for this. This is a quarter ounce for effectively 9 ounces of silver. Um, it was 8 ounces plus an extra 20 pounds, which uh, gives, if we round that up, takes us to a total of 36 to 1. And I'm very, very, very pleased. And I've always wanted an eagle. They're, they're very attractive coins. Not um, not 999 gold, of course. Um, I think they're alloyed with a little bit of uh, is it nickel or copper. I can't remember. But they're, um, they're something like 90, 92%, 93%, something like that. Don't quote me on that, though. I cannot remember exactly. But it's, 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 quite, it's quite obvious when you see the, the colour of the gold. So let's have a look at the, um, the Britannia here. And you can see there is a, a difference in the colour there. And that's, that's from the 999, and this is a slightly less pure version but it's hardier this 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 version of gold is obviously a bit more easily um, taken care of it's much harder for wear and tear to show but yeah isn't that 
just beautiful. What I might do right now is put on my macro lens on this camera and see if we can have a look at some of these lovely details. Okay, so here we go. So this is a, a nice zoomed in picture here of the uh, of the year. So MCM L XXX VI. So that is 1986. Let me just zoom out slightly. See if we can see any more detail. It's not a, an awful lot of detail in the face, but um, I don't think you'd expect that from a coin like this. Yeah, really, really nice. Really, really nice. Why don't we have a quick look at the reverse? There you go. So if I cast a bit of a shadow, lovely stuff. There we go. So there we go, guys. That is my absolute expertly done ratio trading of silver and gold 8 ounces plus 20 pound for a quarter ounce of gold gives me a ratio of 36 to 1 and I'm very very pleased that I've managed to do that if the ratio continues to come down I will continue to try and swap some more silver for some gold um, but for basic bullion stuff it's not going to happen until we get to a ratio of 50 to 1 but I would have you know, I, I would give this thought for anyone who's thinking of doing this, like if you have any sort of premium pieces, this might be the time to take advantage of those premiums. I, I can't imagine that when bullion prices skyrocket, as I think they probably will eventually, that premiums are going to hold too much at that point. So if you've got a bunch of premium pieces that you didn't pay too much for but have now got a premium on them, like the Marvel coins, and you're thinking of swapping into the gold, it might be a good opportunity to do it right now. Anyway guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, I certainly did. Take care of yourselves and cheers.